Hi, um, I previously did a video on uh, intro to formalism, but I didn't like the way it looked, so I'm going to do it again. Um, yeah. This is, um, I'm probably going to do at least two, maybe three videos on formalism in philosophy of mathematics today. Um, this is just the intro to formalism. Um, formalism is one of the top three uh, the, the big three, they say, um, theories in philosophy of mathematics following, um, Kant and Mill and that, and the stuff in the 19th century. So it's pretty much starts with log logicism and form formalism is the thing that comes next. Um, formalism is essentially saying... Do these mathematical statements mean something? And again, I'm using this book because uh, it is very, it is very good. I highly, highly recommend it. It's by Stuart Shapiro. I mean, it basically has a big overview of um, even contemporary theories and philosophy, my philosophy, of math mathematics. But essentially, there's for, essentially formalism is. Um, saying pretty much that, well, most of the time it's basically saying that the, all of the epistemological and metaphysical questions are answered relatively easily because it's mostly linguistic characters and how they are related to it, to each other, um, and that is uh, the basic essence of mathematics itself, and it's not. And we're talking about we're not we're not talking about mathematics as uh, formulas and all that stuff that means concrete things. But we're talking about I'm talking about essentially formalism for the whole thing from term and game formalism to the the Hilbert the Hilbert program. Um, it's uh, um, to say it vaguely, it's it's mostly to um, talk about the manipulation of linguistic characters and symbols um, without, you know, saying that it ha it means a, a certain thing. Um, essentially, there's two kinds of formalism that are discussed here in this in this chapter that is that are discussed before. Um, deductivism and Hilbert's finitism and his Hilbert program. It's term formalism and game formalism. Um, and through term formalism, I think, it's it comes to better, under, it, you know, it comes better to understand, you know, you can come to easily, more easily understand formalism as a whole theory of philosophy of mathematics. Term formalism is the view that a ma mathematics is, is about characters or symbols, the, the system of numerals and other linguistic forms. That is, the term formalist identifies the entities of math mathematics with their names. The complex number a plus 2i is just a symbol, as in single, single quotes, a plus 2i. So, this is where we get into the distinction between types and tokens. Um, that's something that is often used um, in metaphysics and, you know, even epistemology, actually. Um... So essentially, like, um, it's talking about terms mostly. That you know, it's like the 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 uh, term a plus two i. That is just the, it, the the characters are said to they're said to mean a certain thing, even though the i there is. You know, if you put a, a, if you put a plus two i in, in a calculator, it wouldn't do anything. I mean, if you had if you if, if you have, uh, i squared, that makes one, I believe. But it's Im, it's an imaginary number, and that's something that 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 that, math, that mathematicians have done to um, compromise certain problems. But According to term formalism, then, then mathematics has a, has a subject matter and mathematical propositions are true or false. Thus, that is to say, 
um, in truth value, the, the term formalist is um, realist. However, with ontology, term formalism is anti-realist. Um, the view proposes simple answers to seemingly difficult metaphysical and epistemological problems with, with mathematics. What is mathematics about? Numbers, sets, and so on. What are these numbers, sets, and so on? They are linguistic characters. How is mathematics known? What is m mathematical knowledge? It is, it is knowledge of how the characters are related to each other and how they are to be manipulated in mathematical practice. That is a good little summary of um, what formalism is. It's characters and the, their relations and how they're manipulated in practice of mathematics by mathematicians. Consider the simplest possible equation. Zero, equal, zero equals zero. Presumably, it, it comes out true. How does the how does the term formula interpret it? She cannot say that the, the equation says the leftmost hunk of ink or burnt toner shaped like an oval is identical to the rightmost hunk of ink is also shaped like, like like an oval. Clearly, these are two different hunks of, of ink. So here's where we're going into the, in the, in the, in the type token thing. The term formalist might take the, the equation to assert that those two hunks of ink have the same, same shape, but this seems pre pre to presuppose the existence of, of, of entities called shapes. When discussing linguistic items like, like, like letters and sentences, contemporary philosophers distinguish types from tokens. Tokens are physical objects, like when he talks about the, the left and the right hunks of ink or burnt toner, um, that makes the zero. Um, the, 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 the token is well, you know, it, the token is the zero that is printed onto this page. It's the instantiation, um, as one would say in metaphysics. Um, tokens are physical objects made up of ink, pencil, ch chalk, marks, burnt toner, and so on. As physical objects, they can be created or destroyed at will. Types are the abstract form of tokens. So, here it's not, it's not um, really being metaphysically discussed. It's mostly, um, and we're not using, and we're not using the word type as to um, metaphysically postulate about some you know form or whatever. Um, but it's mostly used to say that this zero that is printed on this page is not where if we were to if we were to to erase it or destroy it or scratch it out, there would be, it, it doesn't mean that scratching out that that zero would mean that the number zero no longer exists. It still exists. Um, the statement would remain true if every token of the letter A were destroyed, like same with the letters A through Z. If one erased or scratched out every token of each of those letters, the alphabet would still, would, would still be there. From this perspective, the, the term formalist might assert that, that mathematics is about types. The, the above equation would, be, that would then be a simple, straightforward instance of the law of identity. The equation says that the type of zero, in quotes, is identical with itself. So when we have single quotes around a, something like zero or something like five plus seven, we're talking about the, the type, not the token. Um, and then, what is this? What is this discussed here? Um, is the the little um, Frege? I've, I've talked about Frege. Frege is um, one of the proponents of logicism, uh, which is the philosophy of mathematics, which says that mathematical objects are reducible to logical objects or logic, and um, we can reduce, like, say that say that the number two. Um, to uh, terms or linguistic characters of logic. And here, um, what is discussed in here um, is a couple of formalists who were mathematicians, um, Heine and Tomei, in 1872, the late 19th, 19th century. Um, they wrote, I gave the, the name numbers to certain to certain tangible signs, so that the existence of these numbers is thus unquestionable. And they 
and it was also claimed that the formal standpoint, regardless of all metaphysical difficulties, this disadvantage, this is the advantage it affords us. And this remains to, you know, it's... Like, I mean, I, I mean, I would say that I don't really agree with that because there's still some things that need to be discussed there with the whole type token thing. And then Frege, in, 18, in 1893, launched a sustained articulation of and a harsh, harsh attack on those formless views. Consider, consider the, the, the equation 5 plus 7 equals 6 plus 6. Um, now, again, we're talking about the characters, not the type's number itself. What can this come to? Perhaps it might mean that, that the symbol in quotes the 5 plus 7 is identical to the symbol in quotes 6 plus 6. We're talking about uh, but this is absurd, because even the types are different. The former, in quotes 5 plus 7, has an occurrence of the type 5, in, the, in, in quotes, and the latter, type 6 plus 6, does not. So we're talking about the type 5 plus 7 and the type 6 plus 6 are different. So we're talking about the characters here. It is, it is not open to the formalist to claim that the two symbols denote the same number, since the, the central thesis of, of the term, of term formalism is that we need not consider extra linguistic entities that the term supposedly, supposedly denote. All that matters are the characters. They, de they, they denote themselves. So, so, so the term formalist cannot interpret the equal sign as identity. On behalf of the term formalism, Frege suggests that the, the equation be interpreted as saying, in, in arithmetic, the, the symbol 5 plus 7 can be substituted anywhere for the symbol 6 plus 6 without a change in true, true value. That is, the sentence of the term A equals B says that the symbol corresponding to A is intersubstitutable with the symbol corresponding to B in any, in any mathematical context. So, this, so, so this is the above identity, the, in quotes, the type 0 plus 0 asserts that truism that the type 0 can be substituted for itself without a change in truth value. So you can see that um, I'm trying to set, to set the stage here for my next video, which is discussing deductivism in the Hilbert program, which is very interesting, I think, and it's very um, important to understand that so that one can understand Gurdle. Um, Girl was the one who um, posed the in the incompleteness theorems, which kind of shot down the axiomatization of mathematics itself, um, or Hilbert's program to axiomatize every branch of mathematics. And Kurt Girl's incompleteness theorem just shot the whole thing down. I mean, unless you want to consider uh, possible later options. Um, that were given to the program itself. Okay, so okay, if you don't understand something and you want to understand this, then let me know. I mean, I, I YouTube message or comment below, whatever. Um, the term formalism. This should try to. There's a there's term and game formalism and the the the, the terms and the games it's just different ways of manipulating the characters and their relations. Um, now game formalism. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to a different radio. Right okay, game formalism. Um, likens the, pra the practice of mathematics to a game played with linguistic characters, just as in chess one can use a pawn to capture one square forward on a diagonal. So in, in arithmetic, one can, white, one can write the type x, plus, x equals 10 if one has previously gotten, in, gotten to the type x equals 8 plus 2, called this game formalism. Radical versions of this view assert outright that the symbols of mathematics are meaningless. Mathematical formulas and sentences do not express the true or false propositions about any subject matter. So the difference here is that game formalism is entryless about, tr about true value. The view is that, they, is that the mathematical characters have no more meaning than the pieces on the chessboard. The 
content of mathematics is, 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 is exhausted by the rules of that for operating with its language. More moderate versions of game form was a con concede that the language of mathematics may have some sort of meaning, but if so, this meaning is, is, is irrelevant to the practice of mathematics. As far as a working mathematician is concerned, the symbols of mathematical language may as well be meaningless. Um, the, difference, the difference between, between radical and moderate versions of game formulas had little significance for the philosophy of mathematics. The two views agree on the lack of mathematical interpretation for the typographical characters of a branch of mathematics. Against this, the term formalist holds that mathematics is about its terminology. Okay, so the, re the reason I mean, I, well, I'm discussing this beforehand, discussing Hilbert and deductivism, is that um, there's the whole, there's one goal, and it just depends on what uh, what kind of formalist one is. Um, the 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 kind of formalist one is only discusses how you're going to move towards this um, creating a system or showing how um, mathematics is just characters, the relations, linguistic characters, uh, relations and the manipulation of them in practice. Um, so that's essentially what this is. So I guess I want to leave you on this video with the question to think about logicism and th think about how these two are different because it could help to understand how, what to understand the goal here is to show how formalism is a good path to go down or to create a system of how this is going to be done. Now Hilbert is one who creates a system that is very effective until Gödel shows, you know, a, a, a problem. So I guess the, the question here I would say is how are, how are the ideas of logism and formulas are different because it could be stated that um, if formalism is stating that mathematics is merely linguistic characters and their manipulations and relations um, it could be stated that logic is also reducible to mere linguistic linguistic characters yeah I just I just wanted to make this video to set the stage for the next because it's I don't wanna have to I don't want that video to be really long just because I'm trying to introduce this theory of formalism. So yeah, thank you.